Hello, hello, everybody. It's been like a week since I last streamed because everything just decided to get in my way, but we're here now. <laughs> right before all the story was about to happen with the school ghost, with the full moon, that the Lauren Thawd child came forth and said, ah, things are gonna happen again. But here we are. We have two days until the darkness begins. So we just need to find out what we're gonna do, uh, spend our day doing things. Dude, Yucatan is taking this way too seriously. Why did I open my big mouth? I don't know, because you just have that big of a mouth, you silly fool. I do find it funny that they're like, <laughs> moved this guy from over here. To be like, ah, they're talking, even though they kept the same dialogue. Hey, Neon, hello, hello. I finally bashed my schedule together to be able to stream again after like a week. Just making sure nobody has changed their dialogue on me. Ensuring that nothing's different. I forget which one talks first. I think they just alternate. Yeah, they just keep alternating. I also need to check everybody's status. Everyone should be good. Yeah, everyone is good. Da-da-da-da. Just all the normal stuff. At least, like, if there was any time to get pulled away from the game, it's right before all the story happens. We got the school ghost stuff. We got the full moon boss that hopefully won't kick my ass. Ba, 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 ba. I still love the wandering around music. It's just... A nice little detail. Like, not really detail, but just like, a nice thing. Because it just like, has a nice atmosphere to it. <laughs> I've been up through the night because I fell asleep in the afternoon for at least 11 hours. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had like a long midday nap. That threw off my sleep schedule before. And also, gotta remember to check the bulletin board. Just in case anything weird happens on it. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Oh wait, it's Saturday! We can buy from the pharmacy! Welcome! Saturdays are regular sale days. It's the perfect chance to stock up on items. You said it, old man. I think we have enough, like, medicine to have it be good. I think we'll top up our dis poison after the goddamn statue of evil. We have, I guess we'll pick up two dis rages just in case. Spells panic, fear, and distress. Guess we should probably grab a few extra of these just in case. I guess top up our revival beads just in case. And we have a lot of medical powder, so things should be good. Ba 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 da da da. Now we will go and check the Port Island Station. Again, the fact that the guard is gone worries me for some reason. It's like he's supposed to be there. Where did he go? Did he get fired? That'd be kind of dark. Also, the couple is gone too. Or like, not couple, but like the two talkie-talkies are gone. Do they become apathy? 
Did they get eaten? The Wandering Around song is just so good. Look for the child. The child is here. Considering that everybody else seems to be occupied, I think Saturday might be a good day to hang out with her and try to upgrade her social link. Especially because I got the ringing endorsement of like, hey, her social link story is apparently sad. Or at least it's worth checking out and it's emotional. So it's just like, which is also kind of funny. They're like, hey, you should do this one. When she was like, so far, the hardest one to actually activate because for some reason, for some reason they decided that to activate her social link, you need to get her the one of the drinks from the dorm vending machine. Like, it's just such a weird design decision for me. You want to activate this social link for this random child? Buy from the vending machines in the dorm. Just makes no sense to me, but... Maiko, hello. Oh, hi. What are we going to play today? It seems Maiko wants to play with you. Let us spend time with the child. What should we do? Maiko seems happy. Please don't have depression upon you today. Although that's what it usually goes. That's right, a drink and weird tokiaki. At least the tokiaki is like something you can find just by wandering around easier. <laughs> it's just weird that out of all the vending machines in the game, they chose the dorm ones to be the ones to hold the magical befriending juice. Hey, have you seen Striped Shirt? We were playing tag, but it's no fun if I can't. Striped Shirt, the Yuri Lowenthal child, you've seen him. That's bad. That kind of implies that you're awake in the dark hour. Or maybe your Yuri Lowenthal child is just weirder than we thought. Because I thought he just existed in the dark hour, but maybe he exists in the normal hours. Hey, Striped Shirt! I'm okay, considering that apparently we're going to see him. Not going to be Yuri Lowenthal child. Why does he look so distraught? Also, kind of realized, probably a bad sign. Like... <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, did this guy also give you tokiaki and the drinks from my dorm, too, to earn your friendship? This is... This is odd. This, this is... Strange. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like, the fact that there's like this guy here... And you apparently play tag with him, and he disappears. Like, here I thought it was going to be the Yuri Lowenthal child, but no, it's a grown man. Even though apparently it's a thin young man. But just a sad life you live, that you rely on strangers so much. You don't look so good. Are you sick? Kinda, yeah. I'm surprised you could tell. Huh? So, you are sick? <laughs> no. I'm kidding. You're so easy, Maiko. No fair. I'm an innocent girl, so I actually believed you. Well, at least he doesn't seem to be terrible. Maiko ran off and climbed the slide. And you are? Hmm. I guess I'm Maiko's friend. So you're the girl she was talking about. I wondered what you were like. Are you too old to play with kids, or are you still young at heart? I guess not a... Seems like a decent guy. Hope you don't turn out to be a creep and harm the child. Hopefully not. You like, I don't know. Just the fact, small girl who's from a broken family. Like, befriending me is one thing because I'm the protagonist. Befriending this guy 
could potentially be dead. So I don't know. I, I fear. I fear for all. Hey, I'm hungry. I want tokiyaki. Tokiyaki. Maiko is yelling from the top of the slide. You can eat with us too, striped shirt. Apparently she doesn't know his name. Nah, I'm okay, thanks. I'll see you guys around. Interesting. The thin young man walked off. He's gone. I usually see him around the shrine on Sundays. Another social link. Another social link. I wonder if they're like, what's the word, uh, intertwined at all. I kind of don't think so, but who knows, maybe. You can never tell. <laughs> maybe you have to progress one before you can progress the other, but at the same time, that could probably be a bit obtuse, but who knows. The Shrine on Sundays. I see him on the way to cram school, too. Cram school? Maybe around the... that, like, one section of... I'm trying to think. I forget how you get to it, but there's, like, this one segment of one of the maps where we can go talk to the taxi guy. So maybe he'll be around there for cram. Like, because there's the taxi guy and then a schoolgirl. So maybe he'll be around there, the tram station. It's Tokiaki time! You decided to go with Maiko to get Tokiaki. Iwato Dai Strip Mall, Tokiaki Stan, Octopia. It's so hot, I might burn up! I remember one time Dad burned his mouth on this Tokiaki. Oh, so that's why you like it. It reminds you of happier times, doesn't it? Oh. Because I put too many in his mouth at once. He was like, Fuck you! Maiko suddenly fell silent. Dad doesn't spend much time at home anymore these days. But I have a birthday soon. Oh, do you think he'll come home for my birthday? I think we should go the reassuring route and say, don't worry, he'll be there because he'll probably forget his harsh and mean to child. I really can't say he seems too passive because, like, I don't know. There's just something about we should be nice to the child and reassuring. Don't worry, he'll be there. You really think so? Maiko cheered up a bit. I mean, I know mom will buy me presents, but still, she hasn't asked me what I want yet. Hmm. Michael fell silent again. If they really loved me, then they wouldn't get a divorce. You're the only one who still plays with me, you know. Michael seems to enjoy spending time with you. Your relationship is stronger now. What about Striped Shirt Man? Does he not play with you? The girl at the Shrine Social Link has reached level 3. Huzzah. Today's laundry day, so I'd better get home soon. If I don't do laundry, the house will be a real big mess. Oh, you have to do the laundry. That doesn't seem good. See ya! Maiko took off, so you decided to go back to the dorm. So. Alright, let's get going. Alright, interesting. Like, story segment right off the bat, but like, that's kind of dark. They force. Well, I guess. Hmm. Like, maybe force, or just, like, through their neglect, have kind of trained their child to do it. Huh. Well, that's depressing. And chat. Oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah, and his... He is the most depressing. That's funny. Because <laughs> I think I had, like, something similar said about Sayori from the library committee. I guess everybody's story is depressing in this game. All right, Yukari said, all right, let's get going. What's your hurry? I still think this is a bad idea. You're the one that introduced the ghost idea to everybody. Pay your ghost taxes. I mean, bringing two girls there is like, like wandering into a lion's den with stakes strapped to my face. How could you be afraid of ghosts? Oh, yeah, because we were going to go and... Uh, Hang out at a specific place to find a specific guy, I think. I forget. <laughs> uh, not as much structure doesn't always have time to play with Maiko. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially if he, like, lied to spare her feelings and he actually is sick. 
and that's why he's the thin young man. His sickness is making him thin. It's easy to get freaked out by something you can't see. Don't you think? Ghosts! Actually, I'm more worried about things I can see. Like bats and knives. Yeah, because I'm remembering now, all the girls hit with a coma were bullies that hung out with, like, uh, a specific group of, like, thugs and we're gonna go to their hangout place. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. We go into Tartarus, my dude. We go into Tartarus, which is much more terrifying than human beings, I would think. But then again, I guess there's, like, a degree of separation. Ah, the shadows, they're not they're like less real. Come on, it'll be an adventure. Like Tartarus. More like a suicide mission. <laughs> adventure time. Huh? You're actually excited about this? Yeah, we get to hang out with our seas team. That isn't Tartarus. Oh hey, this is the place where that guy like got attacked by shadows or something that completely out of nowhere never explained story beat where a guy's like listening to the radio and he's just like ah this sucks and then screams as black sludge exited every pore of his body and it was never returned about tatsumi port island back alley several boys and girls are hanging out doing the worst thing you can imagine Dancing. The hell? What do you mean, the hell? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, like, pronouncing it Gecko. Just saying, it seems weird to me. Oh, man. This is worse than I thought. Also, how could they just tell immediately? We're not even in a school uniform. They're just like, look at them. They're rags. They're from a high school. Hey, you. I think you're in the wrong place. Uh, well, I... You don't belong here. Get it? Beat it, goatee. <laughs> uh, goatee? That is actually kind of funny. The high schooler is the only one with facial hair here. Oh, you, you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, hey, hey. Are you nuts? Nah. <laughs> it's, I find it kind of funny. The idea that, like, Junpei... Like, has no problem of ghosts, but is afraid of people. While Yukari, afraid of ghosts, but not people. Take a look around you. I'm not blind, you know. Come on, don't be intimidated by these scum. <laughs> these scum. What was that? <laughs> he looks kind of distraught. I know it's supposed to be kind of like a laid back, eh, what are you talking about kind of expression. But he looks distraught. She just called us scum. Meanwhile, she looks happy to be called scum. <laughs> we'll post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. She'll wish she was never born. Weirdos. <laughs> oh, that's so clever. How is it clever? You didn't even do anything. <sighs> These guys are the worst. I think they're insane. You want to learn to shut that trap of yours. Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a pain in the ass. <laughs> what? What if it is your personality? <laughs> oh, because he got hit? Oh, no, he got hit. That's enough. Familiar voice. It is Katsuku... Uh, what is his name? The guy with the long hair, he's come to save us. Obviously not, but that would be hilarious. He actually hangs out here and is one of the cool people. They didn't know what they were getting into. Oh, it's this guy. Make sure they leave. <laughs> hilarious it is a guy from the other day, when it has been like weeks since we last saw him. At least I think so. It was quite a bit, quite a long time. But also, yeah, he's like far cooler than anybody else here. Interesting. I'll make sure they leave. So are you like friends with these people? Or are you just like I don't know. I don't get tough people. Or like these kinds of tough people. They're just weird. Alright. 
do you think you are, dumbass? Kick his ass now. You want some too? Guy from the other day, annihilate this man. But the punk's fist was easily dodged. The guy from the other day. <laughs> I love that that's just what we're calling him right now. Head butted the punk, knocking him backwards. Oh, shit. You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive? How dare you fight back against my assault of you? Want to give it a try? Uh, <laughs> uh, screw this. <laughs> what a loser. Damn you, Shinjiro. Ah, that's his name, Shinjiro. That's right. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? Is he? I guess that would explain why Akihiko knows him. But then Junpei and Yukari don't know him. You better grow eyes huh. in the back of your head. Well, he's wearing a beanie, maybe he already does. The punks ran away and the girls walked off laughing. Oh man, Senpai, that was awesome! You are now going to be chewed out by him, aren't you? Hey, I remember you. You clowns were in the <laughs> room at the hospital. You clowns. That's, I, don't, I don't know why, but just like him kind of being condescending, but just like not violent like those guys, is immensely more amusing to me. You idiots! Get out of here. This place isn't for you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You idiots! But the, that line read almost made him sound like a stoner. Wait! We came here for a reason. Ghosts! Did Aki tell you to come here? No, I don't. Did he? I forget. This is, this is what happens when you don't play a game for like a week. I don't... I genuinely don't think he did. I think it was Yukari's decision that we came here. I don't think so. <laughs> What do you want to know about that ghost story? Yeah, cuz the bully chicks supposedly hung out with punks around this area, I think, and that's why we came here. Uh, yeah. How'd you know? Maybe he's looking into it as well. It's possible that he's mildly like attuned to the supernatural because he knows Akihiko. And I don't know, he <laughs> That kind of overcoat he has kind of has a, a vibe to it that makes me think supernatural investigator. It's a rumor. Guess that makes sense. Enough girls, especially around there, if these this is the the punk girls hanging around with other punks, got targeted to be come a comod. Guess word would travel around that kind of group. Those girls who wound up in a hospital were here talking shit every night about all the things they'd done to some girl named Fuka. I think I remember that. Fuka? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? Quick, grow protective powers, Junpei, and fight punks. That's why people are saying it's Fuka's spirit that did it. But she's not dead, is, it, is she? Fuka spirit? Wait, what do you mean by that? Because if I remember correctly, could this be... Because if I remember correctly the timeline, around the time that we saw this guy, Shinjiro, at Akihiko's hospital room, Akihiko also mentioned a girl in a like nearby hospital room that might be a potential teammate. So that's probably, that's Fuka. So it's possible she went to the hospital and they're like, haha, she died or something. I don't know. Teenagers are stupid. You guys don't know? Or did she actually die? This Fuka girl might be dead. Oh, might be dead. I wonder why. She hasn't been home in over a week. Because there was, because if I remember correctly, there was background chatter on like girls running away slightly like not permanently away but like leaving home at night and stuff so one of that could play into Are this you serious I, I thought she was out sick i don't know there's like a lot of the idle npc chatter has become jumbled in my brain but she's missing so much for the ghost story mystery coda is the homeroom teacher for 2e right 
Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. Make up for the past? It's you who can't let go. Why are you Taki Daki Hiko? He's not even here! Nothing. That's all I know. Satisfied? Maybe. I don't know. What do you think, Yukari? Hmm. I'll say thank you very much. I didn't do nothing. You gave us information. Um, thank you very much. You even gave us a hint. You're very kind. Huh? <laughs> I, How uh, dare you call me kind? Mind. I'm a punk. Don't come here again. The young man named Shinjiro left. You decide to return to the dormitory. Oh, and then we get nighttime activities too. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. -da. <sighs> Are you out of your mind? Going to a place like that? I mean, I'm proud of you guys for trying to gather information, but be a little more careful next time. So I was right. Akihiko didn't send us. My memory isn't terrible. I told you it wasn't a good idea to go there, dude. If Shinjiro-san hadn't helped us, we'd be... Shit, I'm never going there again. Dude, you have a katana. Why didn't you stab him? From YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. How are you? I am doing very good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, good enough to actually b fix my schedule to stream again. The world just conspired against me the past week. That guy looked kind of scary, but he was actually really nice, don't you think? Yeah, I agree. But I wonder, what such a nice guy was doing in a place like that? He definitely didn't seem like the other punks there. Like, he was the strongest punk with a golden heart. You turn on the television. Today's exchange rate. The yen is now 115.12 to the dollar, down from last time by 0 0.11 yen. The economy's crashing. They're all gonna die. I don't think we should go to Tartarus because we are two nights away from the full moon. So probably wouldn't be a good idea. Devilman is here if we want to hang out with him. But also, Monk Man is here. And I like the Monk Man. I guess just as a just in case. Save state. And we'll talk to the man. Because uh, we don't have the tower like as a persona classification yet. We've yet to find one, I don't think. We'll definitely need to, like, do some persona wrangling once we... Well, actually, since we have one more night... Hmm. I should probably do some persona wrang... Well... We won't do persona wrangling primarily because I don't think we get for time on full moon runs. So I'm not gonna risk, like, not having Persona. Even if there are a few there that I could probably wrangle, we'll do, we won't do that. We'll talk to Mutatsu. Oh, it's you. It's me. I wonder how, if you'll become depressing somehow. Probably not, maybe. Then again, you're old. Maybe you'll die and will come here one day looking for you and there'll be somebody else and it's like, oh, he talked about you. I don't know, that would be a little odd, but I don't know. Everybody's story seems somewhat depressing. Every single person. Oh, it's you. Mutatsu seems to be drinking by himself. Let's spend some time with Mutatsu. <laughs> what a strange kid. He seems amused. I thought your face looked familiar. You here again, kid? Even Buddha's not that forgiving. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and... Well, there's no Buddha in this world, so... All right, kid. 
Stop looking at me like that and sit down. Kind of odd for a Buddhist monk to not believe in Buddha. As like a spiritual force, I guess. So tell me, is it fun pestering an old monk like me whose li own wife and kid left him? Oh, that's... That's depressing. <laughs> I guess that kind of explains why you come here. Drinking your sorrows away. But man, just throwing that out there, are you? Just... <laughs> I don't know why. Just didn't expect that. How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends, kid? Hmm. This is an odd one. For some reason, I could have sworn that I, like, was in a social link and also answered like I have no friends. Because it's kind of hard to say. Like, I know people. The social links. But also, like, what would he expect from me? Hmm. Maybe he'll feel a kindred spirit, because... We don't ex- Like, we have people we hang out with. But I don't think at this point we have friend friends. Just, like, poor souls that were kind of pseudo-therapists for, like, Ryo and Sayori. I have no friends. Either you like being alone or you got problems. In any case, well said. No hesitations whatsoever. <laughs> Even though I spent a decent amount of time pondering that answer. Mutatsu seems amused. Don't worry if you don't have any friends. Most of life's troubles have to do with others. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. True friendship is seen through the heart, kid, not the eyes. People always want something in a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No, you don't. Well, there are some poor sods out there who do. Because you know who won't... Because you know you won't get nothing from him, right? Which means, in this world, there's no one you can hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. That's depressing. But you see those dames over there? The ones on the dance floor? If you can bring one of them over here, I'll be your friend in return, eh? What do you think? Mitsatsu seems to trust you. You understand Mitsatsu better now. At least I didn't have to actually do that as like a a mini game thing. Like, a, go bring a poor lady to suffer <laughs> the monk. The unusual monk social link has reached level three. So whenever I do find a tower, I can form them with great power. You're getting sleepy. Your eyelids are starting to droop. Go on for now, kid. You're gonna come back again anyway, even if I tell you not to, right? I like him. Again, wonder how it's gonna become depressing for him. <laughs> Would be kind of funny if the guy who is just like, There's no real love in the world, it's all transactions, turns out to be like, the most normal, non-depressing guy. <laughs> Excuse me. Bleh. There's no school today. Ah, I get a hangout phone call, I think. Hello, it's me, Rio. Are you busy right now? Just in case. Save state. I am not busy, so I shall say it's okay. Do you want to go somewhere today? Since you have the chariot persona, you can do this. Let's accept the offer. Get some extra points for the volleyball social link. Hey, well, today, strip mall, Wakatsu restaurant. Uh, sorry, are you done eating already? You can have my sh fried shrimp if you want. Rio hasn't eaten much of her assorted fried dish. 
The fried shrimp and, her, and fried oysters are completely untouched. Ah. It just suddenly tasted really oily to me. I guess I'm just a little tired of thinking about different things. Rio doesn't seem that well. Sorry, I'm the one that invited you here, too. I don't know what to say. I guess I could do another save state and save scum for these uh, <laughs> paltry points that we can get. But let's try and psychoanalyze it. Because... Hmm, because I... Uh, I don't know. Because I think a can I have the fried oyster would be too dismissive, maybe? So maybe I should say you gotta eat, though. Kinda like how in that one social link part, we refused to leave. And we hugged her instead. I'll say you gotta eat, though. Yeah, you're right. I gotta eat no matter how I'm feeling. Losing my muscles... <laughs> Lose, I-N-G! My muscles would only make things worse. Rio started trying her best to eat more. You learned something new about Rio today. She's depressed! Is it gonna be full moon? F full moon? Full moon night, or is it tomorrow? Looks like it's tomorrow. Oh yeah, because it was Monday. That's the... The full moon night is Monday. And as always, our emergency save state. That guy looked kind of scary, but he was actually really nice, don't you think? We already had this conversation. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R! Episode 16, Confusion in the Presses, a photo of food is not the real thing! Featherhawk! And now the news. <sighs> Same thing like that. Same, kind of same, but different. Like, different, like, body photos. Huh. Didn't realize that at first. Let's talk. Yamagishi has disappeared. It began with a ghost story and has developed into a serious situation. We have to do something. And that's probably going to lead into... The full moon, probably. Ba-da-da-da-da-da. See what's available at the mall. At the Darth Mall. Again. Always check you. Nothing special posted on it. Look and see. He is here if we want to hang out with him again. Or do I want to try and... Upgrade my stats. I think we can try and hang out with him again. Oh, it's you! Matsatsu seems to be drinking by himself. Let's spend some time with him. <laughs> what a strange kid. It is I, the strange kid. Polonia Mall, escape ad. Your head's like a sponge, huh? You seem to just soak up everything I tell you. As you spent time with Tatu, the bond between you two grew stronger. Yeah, so that was just like a normal... Spent time with him, but... Wasn't an upgrade. That was basically my spend time... Like, not upgrading social links, but getting points for him day. Because I hung out with Ryo, and then Mutsatsu. You recall the story you heard at the outskirts of the station. You decide to ask the teacher about the missing girl, Fukuyama Gishi, today. Yo, teach! The fuck's your student at? Ah, that's why, because, like, Geku, uh, Gekko, Gekko-Khan. They just shortened it slightly. The punks. 
Look at them. They're from the Gecko High School. They're all turning into lizards. You came to act mister, ask Mr. Ikoda about Fuka Yamagishi's disappearance. Someone's already at Mr. Ikoda's desk. It's Mitsuru and another student. Ominous! Oh, Mitsuru Senpai. Why are you here? I'm the one that made Yamagishi disappear. I'm heading to a convention today. Ah, hope it goes well. Also, uh, stay safe from sickness, because I know not just general con crud, but just like sicknesses abounds in conventions. I hope you find a lot of fun things to do there. Same reason as you. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! No! Random brunette. You're not Mr. Ikoda. Huh. I wonder, though. Come to think of it, if they were all bullies... Hmm. Well, we'll get some answers soon, I guess. But, yeah, why are you like, No! Don't ask questions about her! I... I never thought it'd turn out like this! What, did you murder her and bury her body in the river? Fuka... Wait, you're that girl! You're the bully bitch! What did you do to Yamagishi? I killed her! Hold on, Mitsuru. This isn't an interrogation. Oh, but it is. This is an interrogation of us supernatural investigators. Matsuki, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Whose side are you on? Dude that's probably wearing a toupee. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Like that you murdered her. Fuka, she... She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. Yes? And then... I realized... She's an honor student, but... Deep inside... She's just the same as us. Just because she was smart didn't make her any less human. I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her that day, too. May 29th, we took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. I don't think that's messing with someone. I think that's false imprisonment. What? You locked her in? That night, Maki returned to school alone. She was afraid we'd get in trouble if Fuka committed suicide. Again, don't think it's messing around or messing with someone if at the back of your mind you're going, huh, I wonder if they're going to kill themselves over this. But she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying on the ground by the gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. And she was nowhere to be found. So I opened it and went inside. But she wasn't there. <laughs> hmm. You know what would be hilarious? If Fuko was just like, oh, so they're gonna play pranks on me, are you? Picks the lock, locks the door after she gets out, goes home and just like, hey, dad, don't tell anybody I'm here. I'm gonna let him stew for a while. And then the comas are just like a side thing. That'd be kind of funny. All this commotion, and then it's just like she has no idea what's going on. She's just living her best life, eating potato chips. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. Well, I guess that's at least one nice thing. Even though you were messing with someone, a.k.a. falsely imprisoning them in a school gym... With the uh, thought at the back of your mind going, I wonder if this will make them self-delete, and you didn't stop. At least you've had the thought, oh, she's gone, we need to look for her. But every night, another one of us went missing, and they each ended up like Maki. I see. It is interesting. Could it possibly be related to Tartarus? Because if they're here late at night, Tartarus spawns, they get coffined. Hmm. By the way, Mr. Ikoda, all this time, you've attributed Yamagishi's absences to illness. Yeah, why are you covering that up, actually? But in reality, she was missing. You must have been aware of that. What was your intention? Protecting the school's reputation, of course. I was thinking of the students, of course. 
Why? You could have just said, due to complications with, well, like, less the students at that point, because if you came out and said, oh, yes, one of our students went missing in relation to bullying, then we're afraid. Like, why do you think letting a rumor of ghosts plunging people into a coma is better than just fessing up and saying, there was a bullying problem, the bullying victim disappeared, and now the bullies are falling into a coma. Hell, that would probably fix your bullying problem straight out. They'd go, oh no, if I bully someone, I will be destroyed. You children may not understand. But we have to consider the future of everyone affected. Ah, so the future of the bullies. Because if it came out that those bullies locked uh, Fuka in the gym and then she disappeared, that could negatively affect them socially going forward, I believe. Maybe. Then again, this is Japan. And... Like, I'm now, like, if I remember correctly, in Japan, there was a horrible, horrible, horrible crime that happened, committed by teenagers, and they were, like, hardly affected socially. So, really, I, you're probably doing this more for the school's sake than anything. You mean you chose not to report this to the police for the good of the class? It, it was in her best interest. In the disappeared person's best interest? I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agree. Her parents agree it's better for her to be disappeared? And with all of it marked as illness. So to protect your career, you ignore what? your responsibility as a teacher. <laughs> Recently? Oh no, this is something like decades ago now, I think. Not exactly sure when, maybe mid-2000s. I'm like 90% sure it was like a long ago, like a decently long ago thing now in Japan. How despicable. He was a very despicable man. <laughs> <laughs> There's such a light gasp. <sighs> I, I, I didn't. I, I was just... Uh... About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual before the incidents? Yeah, we weren't bullying anyone anymore. Anything at all. <laughs> They all heard a voice. Ah, a glossary thing popped up. Voice. And that's what we did here, like, back then. Like, while we were passing the persimmon tree, the bullies were conversing. And we did hear a voice. And she was just like, huh, what? Well, did you say something? No, I didn't. Uh, go ahead. A creepy voice right before each of them went missing. And you'd think that after the second time, it's just like, Hmm. She heard a voice and got smacked up the head and comad. She heard a voice and got smacked up the head and comad. I'm going. I now heard the voice. I'm gonna stay home and not go to the school. They said it was calling their name. Like again, anything calling your name? No, you did. I think that's like a a, a supernatural meme in some country. If you hear something calling your name, no, you didn't. Oh, man. Oh, senpai. Could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. It's them. The Power Rangers. Until now, there was no way of knowing how or why some people are conscious during the dark hour. <laughs> You're just saying this in front of a Kodai and the brunette? But it's the voice. It draws them in. It's not a random phenomenon. This whole thing has made me realize they're clearly targeting humans. Why are you expecting them to target dogs? Shadows are the enemy of mankind. And I guess the ally of dogs. Stay at our dorm tonight. It's the safest place. <laughs> I like how she didn't even ask, have you heard the voice? Yeah, I did. No, it's just immediately, you're in danger. Come to our dorm. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave the room no matter what. <laughs> Huh. I don't know why. This is funny. It's like, we are kidnapping you now. You are going to be our prisoner for your own safety. If you can do that much, you should be okay. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. Uka. <laughs> Me. Iori and Takeba, too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. 
Ah, so we can hear the voice. <laughs> like, okay, after school, so not the evening, because I was about to say. That would be kind of funny. We'll meet here at the school at night. So that the brunette can hear the voice and be smacked up the head in a coma. T tonight? Oh, it is going to be tonight. We're going to rescue Yamagishi. You know where she is? If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. I guess she's in Tartarus. Understood. And again, Akoda didn't say anything after that. Gekuken High School Student Council Room. Everyone gathered is wearing a stern face. Tonight, we will infiltrate the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Um, I don't get it. Is Fuka inside the school somewhere? She's in the boiler room, taken by Freddy... <laughs> I almost said Freddy Mercury when I meant to say Freddy Krueger. Freddy Mercury as a slasher villain. Sounds hilarious. And why at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. And then I guess she stayed there for the hour and got zooped in. Then Ever since Fuka got locked in the gym, she's been stuck there? That's correct. Huh. That was ten days ago. That means... Yeah, how would you survive there for ten days without water and food? Not necessarily. We can't jump to conclusions. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So what about the rest of the day? In actuality, she's only been there for ten hours. Now that you mention it... This is only a theory, but I think time may function differently with respect to Tartarus. So, even though it's been ten days for us, perhaps only ten hours have passed for her. I guess that's one way to look at it. If it only is a physical place that exists at that moment in time, maybe it only exists in that moment in time. It's possible she's still alive. Wow. You think so? Granted, that is ten hours in Tartarus, a place of evil shadow death. Uh, but the dark hour is pretty brutal. We could barely handle an hour. How's she gonna last ten? That's true. But at the same time, we're fighting the shadows and trying to climb. It's possible she's running around trying not to die. So maybe if she's like... And also, since there's one of her... Maybe she can maneuver and hide and run away better. And even if she's still alive, we might not be able to get to her. What do you mean? We got all the way to the second barrier. Unless you're saying that she managed to get past the second barrier. Are you just going to let her die then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus exactly how Fuka did. We're going to lock ourselves in the gym and wait for the dark hour. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That's the quickest way. Is that really going to work? I mean, it's the only lead we have. Honestly, I have reservations. Huh. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus, too. But we have to save her, because she was going to be our ally, and so we should treat her like an ally still. Where's your protective streak, Iori? You said that you like, ah, I won Yamagishi on the team. Or like, yeah, I think it was Yamagishi. So that I could have someone to protect, and now you're just gonna let her die, you fool with a baseball bat sword? But I won't stand by and do nothing if there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. If you guys don't want to go, then I'll go by myself. <laughs> with his boxing gloves that are somehow stronger than brass knuckles. Senpai? All right, we're aware of the risks, but we can't just leave her there. I agree, and we won't know until we try. Cool. We get to sneak into the school. What if we just stay overnight? It's apparent. It's obvious that they don't check the gym before closing a school. You just go into the gym and wait there. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> In that case, I know just what to do. Huh? And what is it that you know what to do? The dormitory command room. Also, how are we going to watch over the brunette bully? And go to the gym and lock ourselves in before midnight. <laughs> Everyone is ready to go rescue Fuka Yamagishi. This is a bit worrisome. I can't get a hold of the chairman. That is a bit odd. I guess we can handle it ourselves. 
He's leaving it all to the children. There's one problem, though. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. Iori, delinquent us to the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set to go. Set to go? I bribed the janitor. They're gonna let us in through the power of dynamite. An explosive? <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> Alright, I'll let you handle this. We don't have time to waste. Let's go. I was joking about an explosion. Why does Iori have an explosive? An explosive? For real? <laughs> Junpei Iori, the real delinquent. Nah. <laughs> nah. All I did was unlock a door. Uh, then why did then why did Mitsuru assume it was an explosive? So my my idea was basically the correct one. They don't check the school. So just you <laughs> like again, they didn't check to make sure everybody was out of the gym. I guess like, oh the gym's locked. And I guess Fuka stopped screaming for help by that point. So nobody checked the gym. And then here we have Iori just unlocking a door on his way out of school. And nobody checked all the doors to make sure they were locked before locking up the rest of the school. See, we got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. The stupidity of others does not make you smart. Is that really something to brag about? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Really, it's probably better this way. I wouldn't trust Iori with an explosive. Yet we give him a giant sword. We. Ha! <laughs> no time for compliments. Let's go. We. Because set to go. Aw, oh, set to go explode. Because set to go meant she thought Junpei said a bomb. I thought that was just like his. Like, I think that's just a thing that's been said a lot in this game. Set to go. It's just like his catchphrase. I don't know. Also, What's we're What's the big deal anyway? Also, we're here on the full moon. That's not good. Trey Ben. What is that? French? A uh, great Junpei is a part of Bone Apple Teeth. Lousy seniors and their lousy French. <laughs> okay, the reading of that line was great. <laughs> the lousy French. Classroom 2F. Uh, can we turn on the lights? No. Oh, you scared? Uh, no. Stupe. <laughs> Stop calling me that. Listen, if you're going to attack her insecurities, she can attack back. Equal fighting here. Quiet. It's better if we leave them off. They cut the power at night anyway. That is odd. I guess it makes sense for establishments that only function during the day that they would do that to save power but again the bibbidi bobbidi boo thing the first note we got in tartarus said that this place was like the first place built this when this was just an island they built the school here and apparently gave it a juiced up power grid for some reason i don't like sneaking around First, we have to find the key to the gym. We'll split up into two groups and meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? Into two groups. I feel like that's going to be lopsided. Like you and Akihiko, me, Junpei, and y uh, Yukari. The faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> we are here to save a, a girl that's been locked in hell for 10 days and 10 hours simultaneously but exclusively. I, I guess I can understand you trying to be like, I'm going to lighten things up with jokes because, you know, we're probably going to go to hell and things are going to go bad. But still, time and place, Siori. Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? If so, then expect to be severely punished. It, it was a joke. I'd never do something like that. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps I'd best take Iori with me to the janitor's room. Oh, so... I guess it'll be me, Akihiko, and Yukari. Head to the faculty office. I leave it to you who to take along with you. Or I might get to get to choose. Ooh! I get to choose! I think Yukari? Because I forget if I have wind magic or not. And I, I'm fairly certain that I have a Zeo on my team. So, Yukari. 
Very well. Then Akihiko will accompany us to the janitor's room. We'll meet back up in the main hallway. All right. The lack of music. And it's just that singular stock like wolf howl. Like, does this school have an infestation of wolves? Ah, so that's how we got in. That idiot, Junpei. This is practically breaking and entering. Well, what else do you want us to do? We have to break and enter to get here. Ah, can we look for keys already? It's the PA room. Come on, hurry before the dark hour comes. Hey, what are you doing back in the classroom? Can we get to the office already? Because that's the student council room, so off we go. I just wanted to make sure we could just, like... Um, could just be the graphics, but why does it kind of look like, uh... The stairs are kind of fucked up. Do you hear that? I do not. Now I do. The footsteps are getting closer. There's someone else here? Is it God? <laughs> Anyways, let's hide. Where? Behind the Yonbigon store counter? The two of you hide behind a pillar. Oh, hey! The janitor exists. The footsteps fade away. Uh, it's just a security guard. That's almost, like, even stranger that this place has a souped-up energy grid. But they turn it off at the night, but still have a night guard. I say, let's hurry. I know. Ah! Was that your phone or the like the PA system? My cell phone. Who's calling you at this time? Why now? Exactly. Figures. It's spam. Even in the year two thousand and nine, there's mobile phone spam. <sighs> Sorry about that. It took me by surprise. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> See, girls understand this stuff. I wonder where the security guard went. No one seems to be in the office at the moment. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to the office, and that is not the office. Well, I guess let's head in. Faculty office. The two of you searched for the key. No. No. It's so dark. I can barely read these. Just what grab them all. On this one? Why are you asking me? I can't see it. <laughs> well, I'm going to guess that, like, since one of the answers is morgue, that Jim is probably the right one. Jim. Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. Mind if we borrow this? Who are you asking, the ghost? Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet them in the main hallway. I probably should have selected Morgue for the funny funny. <laughs> Mitsuru and the others were already waiting at the entrance did hall. Did you find the key? I did. Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. But if they heard the scream, why did the security guard not come back? What? What? Uh, <laughs> you actually did? I was just kidding. Oh. Uh. You want to make something of it? Fight, fight, Keep fight. Keep it down. We'll divide into teams again. Will Three we? Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour has begun, I'll determine Yamagishi's position. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you want somebody else here just in case things go super wrong. I'll go. You should come too. You can take the lead, like always. 
Um, then I'll be the third. Wait a second. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. Yeah, uh, kind of, yeah. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. Interesting, the game's taking it out of my hands. Sweet! Thanks. <laughs> Seriously? What's wrong, Yukari? You don't want to stay behind with Mitsuru? Um, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's almost Interesting. Time. Let's go. Let's go! To hell! Meanwhile, in a vacant room at the dormitory. I... I'm all alone after all. Yeah, this is what I thought. Kind of... Kind of bad we didn't have somebody stay behind for her. Fuka. Yo, brunette, go to the school. No. No. I don't want to hear this. Yeah, have the... Have the simple brains, don't go to the school. Calling me. I. I have to go. Oh, great. It's minor mind Tell control. Her I'm sorry. Fuka. Eesh. Inside the school, which has become Tartarus during the dark hour, Yukari and Mitsuru are waiting at the entrance. Um, we still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver sensitivity is set to high, too. Oh, yeah. That girl, Natsuki? I hope she's okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But hope we, we don't come back to the dorm here. room and one just of us torn to shreds. Was out of the question. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, how convenient on the day that, like, an extra pair of hands would come in handy, the chairman decided not to show up. <laughs> But we're all here for Fuka's sake. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Yeesh. Is everyone all right? We got separated. That's extra bad. Akihiko, come in, Akihiko. Is he out of range? I'm starting to get worried. We're all worried here. It seems you are unconscious. You appear to be inside Tartarus, but you don't see Akihiko or Junpei. You can't hear Mitsuru either. Are you awake? Ah, great. It's Yuri Lowenthal. This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Yeah, why are you in Tartarus, stripey boy? <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry. You'll see them soon. Ominous! But we don't have much time to talk. Oh, great. You do have, like, emotions beyond creepy little boy. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. <laughs> Ominous! You should hurry. She's waiting for you. I'm going to assume Fuka. You guys will need her. Okay, then. I hope we can speak again. We'll need her. We'll need her. What's going to happen to us? That we'll need her, the lady that has been stuck here for ten hours and ten days. Communication is breaking up. Are you all right? Distance too far. Can't pro can't provide backup. You got s from Aki. Communication has been lost. Oh boy, my favorite. Well. Ah, item. I got medicine. Damn it, it hit me. Well, that's a new mask. I doubt I'll be able to... Like, analyze... Well, that's just mean. No dodging. Dodger, no dodging. What if I just smack you? That did more damage. I'll probably just smack you. Hmm. 
And I do have a lot of medicine, so... I guess fighting the enemies isn't a terrible idea. Communication is breaking up. Akihiko and aren't this floor. Who's there? Are you human? Communication has been lost. So... Fuka has... Access to a... Baba da buff. If I remember correctly, you are weak to... Bufu, right? Hee-ho! Booyah. Actually, come to think of it, I should probably use my own Dia to raise my health. Alright, so this area seems to be fully cleared out. Onwards we go. Bash! Well, since we have him, are you weak to Bufu, little man? Little man, weak to Bufu? Quit slashing me. I shall smack you back. Haha, <laughs> you missed. You idiot. Get frozen again. Listen to let it go and die. What the fuck? You can't do that game. That's cheating. Um. What are you? Your piercing stare is evil. Topple. The fuck? The towering head tower appeared before me and said, uh, Hello. I'm guessing they're giving me medicines in case I don't have a healer on my roster. Communication is breaking up. What's your current look? Okay. Reply to me. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. Well, they have to be closer to me than Aki. Uh, than uh. Oh, this is a boss room. I'm fairly certain. I summon you. This feels like a boss room. You motherfucker! Everything is poking me. Get boo food already and die! And I got a turquoise. Alright, so not a boss room, just... Can you hear me? Please answer. Is someone there? Please answer me. Unfortunately for you, I am a selectively mute protagonist. Ah, great, it's you again. Let's see. Let's try Aggie on you. You are weak. And I shall smack you. 313. Jesus. Now that's a lot of damage. I do kind of like that the bubba -bu like breaking up kind of signifies as a hey you're going in the right direction. So if you want to you can just go the opposite direction to get any items you might have missed. I summon you. Hee ho. And actually hit this one. Uh, I've already missed twice today, and I don't want to make it a third. Good job, he ho. With the power of he ho. What the? Quit doing that! That's illegal! No, honestly, that is horrible. Why do you spawn an enemy right after I already beat an enemy? Stop it. 
Jack Frost leveled up. Jack Frost did it. More Dia. Hilarious, though, that we're, like, in this segment of Tartarus that is so easy compared to everything else that I can solo it. Oh, hey, the boys. Are you hey, fictions? there she is. Man, we were worried about you. Worried about me? How dare you? I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Probably a, a good idea to not do that. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice while you were in here? Yes. Uh, kind of like... Who is this? Are you human? Why do you keep asking that? Th that's it! That's the voice! It sounded like it came from behind us. Probably because it's becoming I mean, from behind you. Uh... <laughs> you know, it's probably just... Like, I find it kind of funny. Because I kind of associate that little badge symbol she has to be with Cease. Even though it's probably just like Gekuken High's symbol or something. But hello, Fuka, I presume. Nice color choices. The girl is looking your way from the shadows. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? I don't know why, but that... This particular drawing of Akihiko looks weird. I think it's the eyes. Yes. Wow, you're alive. That's awesome. You've been gone for ten days. Never fear, Junpei's here. You don't even want to come. I'm glad you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. You can't. Where are we? I was at school, and then... This is Tartarus. So welcome to hell. Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? She cannot. <sighs> no good. All I hear is static. So, let me guess. Our only way out of here is to keep going up until we get a teleporter. Oh, yeah. Are, are you hurt? Have you, uh, run into any monsters? So there are strange creatures in here, then. So she has been able to avoid them. I've managed to avoid them so far. What is with me guessing the next line of dialogue today? The dynamite joke? The for the sake of the school, of course, line with the coda? That then turned for the sake of the students, of course? This? <laughs> are you serious? How's that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but... I can sort of tell where they are. So kind of like Mitsuru? What do you mean? Are you psychic? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Oh. Please don't tell me Mitsuru's gonna fucking die and you're gonna replace her. Like, no, you can't, though, because it's basically impossible to get to a genius-level intelligence modifier to become friends with Mitsuru, unless that's the point. It's meant to be there as a, haha, you could become friends with Mitsuru if you were just more intelligent. And then that's just there to be a barrier because... Like, I don't know. But, like, that actually wouldn't make sense, though, because in the original Persona 3... In the original Persona 3, where you play as the male protagonist... You can't hang out with Junpei or Akihiko, and apparently you only hang out with uh, Yukari after a certain point in the story. So that little switchabout wouldn't make much sense to have it be like, "Ooh, you can you you can form a social link with Mitsuru if you were smart enough, only for it to not exist." So, hmm. but still. A little bit odd that we have, like, another person with the same power. Maybe even stronger. That just makes you think something bad's gonna happen with Mitsuru. Since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Oh! So, is Fuka gonna become our, like, radio in? And Mitsuru's gonna join us in combat? That would make more sense. So less something bad's gonna happen to Mitsuru and Fuka's gonna replace her. And more Fuka's gonna be, 
like stronger in the sensing aspect, but not strong in combat. So Mitsuru can be like, ah, you're stronger in like analyzing as a home base. So even though we thought you couldn't join our team because you were too weak, you're actually just a specialist and could join us that way, maybe. Persona? Oh yeah, you shoot yourself in the head, ghosts come out. Hang on to this. <laughs> it gives you a gun. Go do crime. <gasps> but but this is It's not real, don't worry. Think of it as a lucky charm. It's not really a gun. Um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that would be weird. You've been in uh, this weird, unnatural place with bad vibes all around you that you instinctually decide to avoid. You've been here for 10 hours. A group of students show up and they're like, here, have this fake gun. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, hey, windows. Inside Tartarus at a hallway with a view outside. Whoa, check out the moon. It's full. I've never seen it so bright. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Yeah, that's why we fought the weird birth monster on the monorail. Of course, the same can be said for humans. Werewolves! That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. I think you just don't understand people, Junpei. Hey. Wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Yep. Was it? I think so. Why? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Also full. Today is the 8th. The monorail incident happened last month around the same time. I thought it happened like late in the last month. And the assault on the dorm was a month before that. They were all during a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? <laughs> Ah, uh, great. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. Be careful. Be care, F. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is this thing? It's much bigger than the others, and it's attacking someone. Who could... The brunette. Damn it. What's going on? Hell. It's one of them. If my guess is right, they come every full moon. It's one of them. The Power Rangers. We have to hurry. Like, I know Power Rangers Jungle Fury already did a kind of, sort of, Power Ranger Werewolf, but it would be a very cool thing if there was, like, a Super Sentai Power Rangers, like, season based around werewolves and vampires. The fuck? And, of course, you have Jiggle Physics. Meanwhile, at the entrance of Tartarus, they're attacking at the entrance? Mitsuru and Yukari are having trouble against giant shadows that suddenly appear. Uh, uh, Haven't been in combat in forever, have you? What's going on? Nothing's working. They're ugly. Mitsuru. How, okay, guess we used a teleporter. What in the world? It's them bitches. Akiko Senpai, we gotta distract those shadows somehow. Kick their ass. I know just how to do it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, we'll give it to you. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. Normal attacks? So, like, physical? Someone entered the lobby from outside Tartarus. Fuka, why are you here? More Yamasan? Please get out of here. It's dangerous. I. I wanted to tell you. I'm sorry. Is she gonna get fucking smashed? Hey, look out! Moriyama-san! I need to protect her. Are you actually- Oh, Fuka put the gun to her temple on instinct. Oh. Fuka-san? Oh, it, it, Either that is her shadow, or that is her persona. A persona? Okay, persona, good. I can see. I... I can sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. Are you actually gonna give me the ability to sense bosses' weaknesses? <laughs> Just as I thought. Because, thank God! Mitsuru, let her take your place. We'll take care of this. 
We're gonna kick their ass. That's a dual boss. I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Emperor and Empress. He seems more combat focused and she seems magic. Okay, just give me some time. Hmm. Bufu! Beho! Shit! Oh, uh. Aggie then? Fuck. It has multiple weaknesses. Okay. Emperor is probably weak to magic. She's probably weak to physical. I, I didn't know I had this kind of power. Let's try it out. Yeah. I've been waiting for this. Hmm. What's not? I guess that's one way to go. I like that I could just take one look at that weakness list and figured out what's going on here. The enemies return to Oh, okay. All out attack then. The enemies return to normal. <laughs> Gem to cure fear. Like, you are already at the top of your game, lady. Oh, I probably shouldn't have used that, because it was a me Patra that did the whole team. Oh, fuck you. I guess only Akihiko can punch the fat bitch. But it seems that all-out attacks are the way to go here. Let's go! The enemy has changed. I guess now the it's swapped. So I'm going to guess that you are weak to magic now. Or not. Okay, just give me some time. Oh, that's very mean. It seems like strike attacks will work. All right, so they just got very specific now. Definitely need to figure out this guy is evil. Here. Then we can take her out and focus down on the Emperor. Well, I guess might as well try striking. Aha! It was strike after all. Your enemy seems to be getting weaker. Okay, just give me some time. I'm gonna try and finish this one off. So we can focus on the magic of the big guy, the Emperor. Well, I guess let's try Zeo. You did it. Oh wait, no, you didn't do a paradigm shift. It has multiple weaknesses. Oh, now, so you did go to becoming weak to physical. Interesting. I guess that's what Paradigm Shift is. It can either be specif specificity or not. All out attack, beat him up. Bring him down. Crit time. I think this has been the easiest boss so far. After I learned your secrets. Booyah! 
That's a lot of fucking experience. Huzzah. Get that assault die. Booyah. Oh, you're actually a combat? Interesting. Full analysis. And at level 32, you get third eye. I am intrigued. Don't worry, it's over. For now, there more appear later. Buka, you... I saved you. Are you alright? Yeah. Thank goodness. Great, you went to a coma anyway. Fuka? Oh wait, no. <laughs> it fell to the ground. It suddenly regains consciousness. It's alright. She's just exhausted. Fuka? Fuka? I... Where did these two shadows come from? Yeah, no shadows have appeared at the entrance before. From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. I guess that makes sense, because all the other full moon shadows were outside of Tartarus. The monorail at the, well, I guess, chasing Akihiko to get to the dorm. I see. Um, what are we going to do about Natsuki? She saw the dark hour and the shadows. Kill her. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. Really? The good news is she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. So I guess shadows can target certain people and they can become active at the dark hour when otherwise they'd become a coffin? She should be safe from now on. But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? Oof. That doesn't seem fair. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're the final survivor of the Bully Girls. I think she's learned her lesson. No longer will you talk shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't easy, but you managed to rescue Fuka. I would say that was easier than the monorail. You wondered about the mysterious boy who appeared again. His warnings seemed to be more than just dreams. You were too exhausted to make any sense of it right now. Also, the Yuri Lowenthal boy did say that we would need her, come to think of it. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Probably has to do with her great persona power. I have become tired, even though that was like the simplest trip into Tartarus ever. Hey, I was thinking. Do you think Mitsuru Senpai saved Fuka because it was the right thing to do? What do you mean? Or was it just because she's a persona user and we need her? Considering that... Like, we were told earlier that she was too weak and probably wouldn't be a good fit for the team. I'm going to assume that Mitsuru saved her because it was the right thing to do. I'd say for the right reasons. I guess so. Well, whether or not she joins us is up to her. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. No problem. It's kind of a good thing to have. Class has ended for today. And as always, our emergency save state in case things go bad. Oh, Neon, heading home? <laughs> yep, see you. Uh, any change dialogue? Rumors suck, man. Hmm. Anything about... Yeah. Hey, I saw this girl last time in front of the station. She was wearing a frilly white dress. It was like white goth. Isn't it getting hot to be wearing those kinds of clothes? She must be seriously devoted to her look. There's no way I could pull that off in this kind of weather. I wonder if that's yet another... Like, you're gonna meet this character later. Foreshadowing. Did you hear? Yeah, I heard. Remember what I told you? They just fainted because they were out all night. That's not exactly apathy syndrome. 
Or those people who fainted woke up, so I guess that means they didn't have apathy syndrome? Considering that other apathy syndrome people didn't get, like, knocked out, and they just became, like, unresponsive to the world, but still kind of functioned-ish. Hello, magic man. Give me your magic potion. Give me your magic. Why do you just have a table out in the middle of your, like, place? It just doesn't make much sense to me. We could hang out with Sayori. Because I think uh, Sayori is one of our, like, up there ones. Old couple volleyball and librarian are the up there ones. I'm getting bored of text messaging. I guess it's good to be in touch with so many people, but pretty soon I'm going to get totally bored of it. Once you lose interest in this kind of thing, you can't get it back. I wonder what that means. Once you lose the interest in typing... You'll never get it back. Have you heard this crazy rumor around online? You can get revenge on someone just by signing up at a website. Ominous. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Wild Duck Burger. May the Wild Duck Burger be with you. Ba -da 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 -da. Did you hear that? Uh, was it the apathy syndrome? There was a victim at Gekukin. He was a friend of my. He was friends with my son Senpai. A victim in your uh, your own neighborhood? Oh my! I guess we can't say it's none of our business now. My son's teacher's relative's son's calligraphy master caught apathy syndrome too. Well, that's one way to put it. Another victim of those mysterious incidents was found at Gekukin. Since the victim was at the front gate, that must have been the scene of the crime. You're way out of date. I know this guy from when I was your age. He's a grave digger. Anything at the bulletin board? Nothing posted for now. Say anything new? Oh, we can come in here. Welcome. Officer Kurosawa tells me you're fighting against the shadows. To the public, this is merely an antique shop, but privately, I create weapons. They're not ordinary equipment, however. My methods involve fusing weapons with personas. But you'll need a material to assist in the process, such as Void Naginata or Nihil Gloves. I'll give you one for free to start out with. Here you go. Void Naginata. From now on, you'll need to find your own. The Golden Shadows carry such materials. Ah, shit. Well, guess I'll have to save scum Gold Shadows in the future to try... Like, I wouldn't, like, absolutely save scum for gold shadows. Like, if I see a gold shadow, save. And then try once or twice. But I wouldn't, like, spend an entire stream trying to sneak up on one. There's another thing you should know, though. I'm still researching it, so I'm not certain of this. Depending on, your pers on the persona you use in the fusion, you can create special weapons. All I can tell you is to experiment for yourself. I nearly forgot. If you bring me jewels, I'll trade the goods I carry here for them. Well, I have tons of them. Trade for card. Trade for item. Also, nice aesthetic on the UI here. Fusing weapons of personas is a very simple process. You need two items for a successful fusion. First, a metal material, and second, a persona. You can intensify a fused weapon's strength by fusing another persona with it. The fused weapon's abilities are determined by the persona. Interesting, isn't it? Original Yanyu Dao, original Naganada. Interesting. Well, since we can get Omaikane easily, and plus we already have another hero fat, I believe. I thought we did. Uh, but we can always get him back easily, so. We'll make a save state just so I can play around with this and really get to grips with it. 
save state. Because there's original Naganada and then original Yanyu Dao. Oh, it tells me. Auto Suku Kaja. A basic fused Yanyu Dao. Attack 64. What do you mean due date? Oh, I guess when I can pick it up. It takes time, I guess. What about original Naganada? 94. 78. All right, 78, 89, 64. 102 with a poison resist! A hundred and two plus ten sp spirit power. Evade ice low with 78. 94 counter physical low odds. 78 evade fire low. 64 auto sukukaja. Poison resist. Considering that I don't use Fortuna. I might... Oh! Oh! Or I, I probably just... Yeah, I probably looked at Naga instead of you. Interesting. Trade for card. Interesting. Da -da 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 -da. So considering that we can trade for these... From YouTube chat. Hello, everyone, and hey, Neon. Where were you during all week? Eh, just things messing up my schedule and brain getting bad. Uh, regenerate two, three. Invigorate one, two, three. Growth one, two, three. Null poison, null charm. Interesting. Arms master? What? Spellmaster and Megadolon? For some reason, something tells me Ruby is very rare. But I'll probably have to do research into, like, the stats of Personas. And maybe, like... Because huh. interesting, because, like, Page of Swords is luck and strength. But then... You can get the Knight of Swords, which is also using Amethyst to get one more strength. Hmm. I wonder, like... So, hmm. King of Swords. But that's just, like, one more Onyx to basically double the Knight of Swords. Very interesting. So, Neon, how far have you been going in storyline? Well, so far we saved uh, Fuka, which makes me think that she's going to replace Mitsuru as our home base, but we got a level up thing for her. So it's almost like she could be used in combat? I don't know. Da 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 da. Page of Coins. So there seems to be swords, cups, wands, and coins to raise agility, magic, endurance, and strength along with luck. So like physical-based personas, you might want to like... I wonder if I could use this on my allies. I have some things. Maybe I'll have to try that out. And then trade for item. Well, we don't have any of you. Or you. Or you. Or <laughs> casts Hemamon on an enemy. Interesting. So let's actually read these. Bead for fully restores. Fully restores party. So we can get Snuff Soul for Emerald. Chewing Soul. Precious Egg. Balm of Life. Curse Paper. Casts Mudun on an enemy. Protect self from Hama and Mudu. Magic mirror, barrier that reflects magic, times one. 
Huh. So I guess maybe against bosses these would be nice. So if you like, oh, this boss uses magic, throw out a mirror and that will stop their attack for a turn. Briefly raise his entire party's strength. Something tells me I really need to... Medium almighty damage. A teddy bear? Cute stuffed animal might please someone. You're a quest item, aren't you? Might please someone. Might please. Might please. You are probably important. Kind of like the book cover. Restores 50% HP plus agility up. Habs all foes HP via light magic. Jack Brothers. Knocks down all foes' medium odds. Frolic. Restores parties' HP, but sometimes. Unpredictable effect. Invulnerability for one turn, but... Huh. Deals ultimate damage to all foes, and you need 99 Malachite and 10 Ruby. Which definitely tells me that Ruby is very, very rare. Okay, but I need to check something. I need to check my own weapon. Because I currently use a composite stick to deal 85 damage. And you mean to tell me your free item? Void Naginata, I can confuse a Fortuna to get a hundred and two. I do not use Fortuna. So I guess, like, I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of interested in something. Hmm. I, I made a save state. I want to check something. Because, like, it seems Persona level dictates things. Let's see. Hmm. Because I, I kind of want to look and see... Because if there's, like... Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Because I was figuring if I could find, like, a persona that I could fuse for, like, level 19. Like, dead. Well, like... If I could get one that had, like, a... Like, say, a hero fan or a hermit. Or a chariot. And they were already at, like, level 19. They could get all those boosts and then I could sacrifice them to get an awesome weapon. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, I can summon the Kusi Mitama, who apparently is DreamWorks face tier monster. You know what I want to see, Narcissus? What do you look like? You're not a mirror, sadness. Titan? Doesn't look that titanic to me. Ooh, Chariot Ares. The problem is that would get rid of my... him. I'm gonna make a bonus save state because I just want to do this for a test. I just want to see... what would happen... Because I'm definitely not getting rid of all these guys, and I can't afford to pull them out of the compendium. Actually, speaking of that, before I do anything else, I do want to check the compendium. Yep, I missed a diddly D. So I can register these two. I'll keep that in mind, but... 
since this is going to be a false timeline, I just want to see. Because we can make Ares. I just want to see how powerful the weapon is if we make this guy. And then we'll probably reset. Because we have two safe states to pull from just in case. I just want to see what weapon we get from this guy. Our hearts are united. Let our journey begin together. Because that's like a level six diddly D. I just want to see. What this like level 22 guy will get us from the weapon shop. I just want to know. Because I just went in here on a whim. Discovered the antique lady. What happens if I fuse you and Ares? Hilariously less powerful than not of Fortuna. Huh. That's interesting. So it's not just level. Because Fortune, Fortuna gives us uh, almost 10 extra damage and only a four or like, yeah, a three hit to hit rate. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Because I thought it would be more tied to level. I wonder what does decide it though. Well, either way, load state. Since we don't use Fortuna, but I guess one thing we will do in the proper timeline is we will register these boys. And let's see, any new, nope, triangular sword we did, but we missed bring her a handheld game system. It's all Junpei's fault. So, would you like to chat about any topics? Mm, nothing really jumps to mind. I did watch a... I forget what... Like, Daryl Does Games, I think, is the YouTube channel. But he... Like, I recently watched a video of his going over, like, puny number phenomena, I think it's called. That's just, like, going over how big numbers in video games can feel meaningless, but smaller numbers can feel more impactful. Which is interesting little psychology there. But hey, I have no use for you, Fortuna. You give me big weapon, give me big weapon. I've never made a weapon like this before. Are you satisfied with the original Yan Yu Dao? Indeed. You can pick it up in one days. One days. One singular days. Nothing posted. In that case, I'll need to remember to pick up my weapon. Port Island Station! Port Island Station! I heard about the disaster from someone I know who works at Gekuken High. Oh, really? I think it's awful the way they cho those students are falling victim to apathy syndrome. It's probably because of all the excess studying. Why would they study so hard? I hope they don't get delusions of going to a famous university and getting a high-powered job. Oh, hey, you're back. Did you become apathy? If you go down the side street, you'll come to a spot where gangs gather. They always leave garbage behind and spray graffiti all over the walls. And every time I'm the one who has to clean it up, I'm gonna catch those gangs someday and make them clean it up themselves. I'm gonna make them clean them up themselves. Do you think I could become a first stringer? Oh. Same thing again. Hello, cat. I have food, you bastard. I heard some shit went down here. Our guy's against the gecko morons. That wasn't you, was it? Nah, a chick like you would never do anything that dumb. But man, why would some gecko candy asses come here? Students should stay at home and do their homework or whatever. Never thought I'd hear a punk go, Kids should stay in school! I sometimes see this girl sitting right over there drawing. She has red hair and white frilled dress. She stands out like a sore thumb. Mitsuru? I can't just walk by and pretend like she's not there. 
It's like some anime. You don't usually see stuff like this. Maybe I should talk to her next time. That's all I can think. R white dress, red hair. Nah, we're not gonna check what's showing. I was making sure that they didn't have anything to, like, have my job to be done. Oh yes, my friend, his cat was really expensive. You know what? He said it was free. He said his mom got the cat from the animal shelter. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you could only get cats from pet stores. That's odd. I've always, like... Oh, wait a minute. I think this is the place that we can go to the right and talk to, like, the taxi man. Taxi man! No. Where is the taxi man? What a great gremlin or stitch voice you did there. I can kind of do a stitch voice. Naga, Nala Krista! Ohana means family. And family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Stitch is an awesome character. I guess I could hang out with the old couple. But first I should probably check the actual... Oh wait, first things first. Oh wait, no. First things first, I should equip the item I don't have. Yeah, we have to pick it up tomorrow. Those girls from your school who had apathy syndrome seem to have regained their senses. Thanks to you and your friends, no doubt. Which is hilarious, because it wasn't even apathy syndrome this time. Or I guess it was super apathy syndrome, actually. Because I think a apathy syndrome just, like, affects, like, normal everyday people. And then the super apathy syndrome was them being targeted. But I wonder why, come to think of it. Could it be that we, she, she was such a powerful psychic with her persona, like even if it wasn't awakened yet, that she was able to subconsciously draw her bullies to Tartarus to get smacked by shadows, which would put them into super apathy syndrome? But I do believe we should hang out with the old couple. Because I just think, like, they're neat. The old couple are nice. And we're pretty far along with them. And I just desperately hope that they get a happy ending. It would be very nice. It would be very nice. Like, hopefully the worst they have to suffer is that persimmon tree getting cut down and that's it. Let's hang out with the old couple. You decide to spend some time after school at the bookstore. You want to die? Strip mall bookworms use books. Ah, Neon Chan, welcome. <laughs> Mitsuko is crying. That's that, that's bad. Did they did bad thing happen? The uh, why? Why would you do this? What's wrong? Why is the old lady crying? Don't worry. She's crying because she's happy. She always cries at happy events like the day we first met. Bunkichi seems excited. Oh, so it's... Even though that sprite, not happy looking at all, I'll take your word for it. All the graduates from my son's class have gathered at the school. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. A tree of memorial? I probably think that, thank goodness, is the answer. Because the first one is kind of like, oh, I forgot. Thank goodness. Many of them came to our son's funeral. It's been so many years, but they still remember him. Bunkichi is deeply touched. They've given their precious time for our son. I don't know what to say. Neon-chan. Were you the one who called them all? I don't remember doing that. Like... Yeah, because it's just like, I don't, I don't think I did. <laughs> I don't think I did. Just seems... Huh. 
I'll say, hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is a weird question because I don't remember doing it. Hmm. I haven't a clue. There's no need to be modest, Neon Chan. Bunkichi seems happy. At least I picked the right choice there. Yeah. You're a samurai, Neon Chan. A modern day samurai. What's the female version of a samurai? A Konichi. Bunkichi and Mitsuko seem to think that you're the one responsible for the petition. They seem very appreciative. Your relationship is stronger now. I can only imagine that it's not gonna work and they're gonna cut the tree down anyway. <laughs> the old couple social link has reached level seven. It's getting dark out. Don't forget about us even after you've graduated and become an adult. Someday, I'd like to go have a drink together. Don't you dare be a death flag. Don't you die on me, Bunkichi. But let's wait until you're legal. Obtain Cielo Mist. See you later, Neon-chan. After saying goodbye to Bunkichi and Mitsuko, you decide to go back to the dorm. Oh, hey! Mitsuru-senpai and Akihiko-senpai are going to the hospital to see Fuka today. I wonder how she's doing. Oh, by the way, Ikutsuki-san told me that the antique shop in Paulinia Mall is open now. Way ahead of you. I already ordered something from the antique shop. <laughs> Maybe we should go check it out sometime. What will you do? I will save. You don't hurt nobody. The music is just very nice in this game. It's just so unique. Like, I don't really hear that many... Like, games of this kind of... Blah, blah, blah. Yep, reopening, so the owner will help us out. How the hell can an antique shop owner help us out? Unless she has this amazing item created a million years ago that can annihilate shadows. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Just ignore him, but yeah, you should really check it out. Don't forget it's located inside Polinia Mall. Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are both at the hospital checking up on Fuka. So we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. You have to be prepared and, cur and carry an umbrella during the rainy season. The fight between those with umbrellas and the driving wind is still being waged today. That was our special report. Next, the news, followed by a look at everyone in recovery from the apathy syndrome. Again, the music is just so interesting to me. Rock your world. Guess we can go to the mall and see what's going on. Devil man here. While he's not here, I don't really feel like hanging out with Devil Man. Let's check and see what's at the. Well, do I even have that much money? I do have enough that if we can, if there is something interesting. Horror House. But I think, like, uh, Courage is, like, my highest rated thing. Yeah, let's work part-time. Even though that also raises my courage. But also my charm. You were given a cup of the cafe's signature pheromone coffee during your break. You don't have a housewives complaining that the pheromone coffee has had no effect for them. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Because you've started getting the hang of things, they're going to give you a slight raise. Obtain 3,000 yen for working part-time. Huzzah! It's getting late. You decide to go back to the door. Witness. Your cold worsened because you're tired. Shit. Good morning. You might like to know that Yamagishi and Moriyama are healing up well. That's good. Yes. We'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. We could definitely use her help. <laughs> wow, it's this guy. <laughs> Mr. Kabuto Hatman. It's been a bit since we've had him. <laughs> like, didn't we get, like, the magic doc, like, nurse man twice in a row? Well, 
Let's see. What are you gonna? Uh, are you gonna be one where we have to test our knowledge of things I don't know about, or are we just gonna need to uh, stay awake? Let us find out. Are we up to the Kamakura era yet? I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. Uh, let's get through it real quick then. First, the Taiko reforms. They happened in the year 645. Just remember that. Huh? What were they about? Oh, nothing important really. Later on in 710, there was the Haijo Kyo that wraps it up for the Nara era. That teaches nothing, but this probably is a an accurate summation of school. You feel tired. We must stay awake even if we are sick and tired. What? You want to know more? Okay, here's a question about the Nara era. What's the name of the anthology consisting of about 4,500 poems leading up to the Nara era? I don't feel like picking on anyone today, so I'll just tell you. It's the Man Yoshu. We're supposed to cover the Coke and Wakashu, too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Ricotta if you really want. Ah, uh, I don't care about any of this. I want to get to the Sengoku era. It's calling out to me. How this school is still open when they have teachers like this. It's insane. It's finally time for lunch. Oh, Neon, we have practice today. Will you be coming? It'll probably just be the two of us there, though. Sure, we can go. I plan on going. Really? I'll see you there, then. So we can get the scoop on what's going on with your life? And I do remember that that's like a sign of... Uh, that should be a sign that... We can upgrade the social link today by doing that. By talking to him. Another station. Hmm. Although, could the girl with, like, white dress be Mitsuru? Because surely she would know her <laughs> like the student council head. I think uh, everything should be the same. And I don't think there's much. Oh, wait, we can go to the mall and pick up my weapon. We'll go to the mall, pick up my weapon, come back, hang out with Rio. Give me my weapon! Welcome. The weapon your quest is complete. Thanks for waiting. I've never seen a weapon like this. Make good use of it. Then the real question is, how can you make something you've never seen before? Like that. Be gone and give me the power of original Yanyo Dao for major damage. Oh, and also we have to go to the doctor guy to get our courage and stuff up a bit. We must. We must. I am basically sick. Save me, Dr. Man. I do find it funny that, like, we never go to the doctor for actual, like, the nurse for actual health reasons. We just go to him for his magic potion that doesn't work. You still saying that? Yeah, I'm not feeling good. He just gives me weird looking medicine. Ah, damn did it. Well, I guess we can check out the roof. I don't know why, I just feel like the roof, because I guess especially because the roof isn't even really a selectable place, but we can come here, which just intrigues me. I can understand why people are freaking out over those ghost stories. I mean, running around school screaming and spreading rumors, they all just need to grow up. Well, nothing else. We shall hang out with Rio and see how things have probably deteriorated for her. Because I think last time that we hung out, it was... 
about her feeling bad because the magician guy, like the male protagonist's magician social link, is trying to pursue a relationship with a teacher who's using him, seemingly. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah, it's club time. Let's go. Really not all that, like, enthusiastic compared to the lunchtime meet. Let's go to practice. Yeah, let's do this. Seems relieved. Goku can hide Jim. While you and Ryo practice alone in the gym, Miss Canoe came by. The other club members are awkwardly trailing behind her. Really? Did... Did Magician Guy... Talk to Cano C Miss Cano and uh, get her to guilt all of the other volleyball team members to come back? Or what? Okay, stop practicing. I heard you all got into a fight. I can't have this kind of thing going on in my club, you know. Who started it? Just hurry up and apologize already. Rio falls silent and stares at her feet. It seems that she can't bring herself to look at Miss Cano. I don't think anyone in particular started it. But I do think our attitudes did make things worse. I feel like I said too much to you after we forced you to be our club leader and all. Um, I also... Well, you guys sort this stuff out. <laughs> Maybe she... <laughs> Who knows? She very seems... Very much seems lax about running this club since she's meant to be the head. Well, I wonder if any of them were on it, like, genuine then. Everyone is standing around quietly. It's an awkward moment. Well, what do we say? They can't change unless you talk. You can do it, Rio. I probably think... Hmm. Like, I would assume both. Like, this one seems a bit more... pushy. I'll say you can do it, Rio, I presume. So, yeah, you can do it, Rio. Yeah. Um... I'm sorry, everyone. Things were said that shouldn't have been said. But more importantly, that what happened that day, I feel like I've been forcing my opinions on you all this time. Rio's voice is soft and indistinct, but she is speaking sincerely. Rio, we're supposed to be a team. Sorry. Have you, like, changed? You think so? Rio looks in the direction that Miss Canal left. I'm sorry that I said things like relationships were stupid. I didn't understand what I was talking about. It's tough being in love. Wait, what? Her yell of surprise pierces your eardrums. You're in love? Are you serious? Is it that hard to believe? Wait, who's this about? Is he at this school? Huh? Neon, you know who it is, right? Tell us! I probably should say I have no idea. I do not want to be part of this rumor mill. No, I refuse. I have no idea. Neon. Rio smiles, embarrassed. You totally know, don't you? The other members pester you for more information. I'll say it. Um, it's Kenji. Rio turns bright red. Kenji? Yuko, when did you get here? I mean, Kenji? Seriously, no way. How in the world did you end up liking Kenji? The gym is filled with girlish screams of disbelief. Still, getting him to love you would be pretty simple. I bet all Rio would have to do is push him around a little. It's okay, I'm not pushing anyone or, or saying anything. I don't want to do anything to hurt a relationship I have with him right now. We're childhood friends. As long as we stay that way, we'll never have to break up. I don't have a chance with him anyway. I'd hate to confess to him and have to stop being his friend. Well, if that's how you feel, then it's none of my business to say otherwise. Hey, as long as we're all here, why don't we practice? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because, on the one hand, asking if she's okay is kind of along the same kind of slightly pushy, uh, like, making sure she's good that we've been going with with Rio for a while. Like, when we first met Yuko, she said, hey, you should probably stay with Rio so bad things don't happen. And Rio said, hey, leave, and I refused. And the same thing with the, like, mini event where I said, you should still probably eat, even though she wasn't feeling hungry and didn't touch any of her food. 
so are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Come on, let's start off with some running. Rio laughs. Rio. The other club members have returned, and it seems that bonds between them will grow much stronger. You sense that Rio has overcome a personal obstacle. Now I'm slightly... Hmm. And that's just rank 7. So... I'm going to presume that... I don't know, like... It seems things are on the up, on the good. Hopefully it continues that way and bad things don't happen. Let's go. Keep the two lines intact. After wrapping up practice of everyone, you decide to return to the dorm. Sup, dude? A not... <laughs> a not sad social link today. They're at the hospital again, visiting Fuka. So I guess we're not going anywhere tonight. Man, I wonder when she'll be ready to come along. Hey, don't just assume that she'll be joining us. I hope they're not trying to push her into it. Hopefully not. Fuka doesn't deserve to be pushed around. She's very nice. Let's listen to the news. There's nothing interesting on the news. Eh. Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are both at the hospital checking up on Fuka. So we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. Oh, I heard that the antique shop at the Polonia Mall is reopening. Yep. Same thing there. So, I think that that will do it for night. We've been going for two hours. I'm feeling a bit tired. And we made a decent progress on things. We hung out with a decent amount of people. We hang out with Mako, with the monk. Like twice, even though only one of them upgraded the social link. We hang out with Rio. We hung out with... Uh, with one more, I know. Mako, the monk, Rio, and the old couple. We also beat another full moon boss. Saved Fuka. And uh, met... Uh, what was his name again? Shinjiro? The guy from the other day, as he was said. I, we only just got his name, and it, it just hasn't stuck yet. I'm really enjoying the... Enjoying? Why do I keep saying that? I've been really enjoying the game. But it's still hilarious that, like, the full moon bosses seem so much easier than the Tartarus climb bosses. But yeah, it's probably a good thing that we don't have the opportunity to go to Tartarus anyway because I'm sick in-game. So we probably wouldn't have been able to go anyway. I'd just be missing everything. Even though I, like, got my new weapon. And also, I, I got fought before I end. Item. Like, uh... I want to look at... Hmm. Where's that one? Because I know we have, like, a... What is it? Like, a, an upgrade diddly D. Queen of Coins. So we can't upgrade our allies, just our own, with these Persona upgrade diddly Ds. I'll probably do research into what the, like, stats do, possibly, to try and suss out the most efficient way of using that. But that's definitely the kind of thing where you would use them and then, like, immediately compendium your persona so you could pull them out later. So that you could have, like, your beefed-up personas in the compendium at all time in case you fuse them. And considering that it's, like, faster to fuse personas and level them up than leveling them up through Tartarus, that's probably what you're meant to do, kind of. Maybe? But then that kind of makes it almost meaningless to upgrade your Persona stats that way. Because if you're constantly abandoning your Persona to fuse and level it up quicker, I don't know. I am not a super strategist. For all I know, these stat upgrade things are best used immediately after getting them so you get their like, most immediate results. 
Or maybe you need to hoard them until you get a persona that you hold on to for dear life. Like, I don't know, later in the game, Orpheus is, like, finally upgraded and can be used to great effect, so you throw all your stat-ups at it. But yeah, really, really do enjoy Persona 3, and I'm glad to be back. I might throw in, like, a shorter game in between, like, one day stream Persona 3, other day stream shorter game to kind of break up my mind a bit. Like, I don't know, like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter or something. Something like shorter than this. I'm not going to throw two RPGs at myself. <laughs> Granted, this is Persona, and Persona is long as hell. We're probably going to take a long break from Persona after I beat this, and we're probably not even a third through the game yet. Because <laughs> we begin in April, and then I think most Persona games end around December. So that's like nine months. And we're only like two months, well, I guess kind of three-ish. We began halfway through April, and it's six, so kind of, well, I guess we're kind of a third of the way through the game-ish. Ish. Although I think we'll probably be an actual third through the game once we actually uh, beat three full moon bosses. But time will, time will tell. And I definitely need to try and advance all those social links because I wonder if some of them might become unavailable later on like you have your early social links and then your later social links and I wonder if you like can self-sabotage by like ah, I'm gonna hang out with these characters when they're characters that can be hung out with later in the year but other characters have less chances later on when early on you have abundance of chances I don't know the social sim aspect of this game will always stress me out, no matter what I do. But that shall be it for now. Persona 3 is a lot of fun. We hung out. We advanced four different social links today. We beat a full moon boss. We potentially got a new ally who's probably going to replace Mitsuru as our sensor, maybe. We'll have to see. And I'll hopefully see you all next time. Again, I'll try to stream on Monday. 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and hopefully not mess up my schedule again with life throwing things at me. But if you want other things from me, I have a link tree that has links to everything that I do. Linktr.ee slash wings. So you have links to my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming Twitch and YouTube, with all of these VODs being uploaded to the streaming YouTube after the fact for quality assurance. And then if you want things like my little character in the corner type art, you can follow me on various sites that I upload art to, and then even a few sites that I upload writing to, because I want to write stories. Stories are fun. And then, of course, my Patreon is linked there as a glorified donation bucket. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>